this is my uh, M1210 uh, XPS. M1210. I've had this for. When did I buy this thing? Bought it when they first came out. Do we have a date on here? Two thousand six, I think. If I remember right. Two thousand, yeah, two thousand six. So it's getting old. It's a uh, Core Two Duo, two point three three gigahertz, four gigs of RAM. So I'm just trying to, I don't know, get a little more life out of it. This thing still seems decent enough. I've got a desktop for anything else that I need. Um, so you'll take start by taking these two screws out. Um, the little symbol of a hard drive by the screws. So just take those out. Feeling lazy today so I'm doing this on the bed. And then the hard drive will just pull out Oh, sorry. This one's got four. I forgot. I have upgraded the hard drive on this. It's got a 500 gig. I really don't need that much space. So I just bought a 128 solid state Toshiba. Paid like 70 bucks. Shipped for it. So, pretty uh, cheap upgrade. So the drive just slides out. Like I said, I've changed this drive before. This is a 500 gig Seagate 7200 RPM. Um, I want to think that when I bought this, um, I bought it with a 100 gig 7200 drive. I want to think that's what it came with. Um, at the time, I think you could get a 250, but it was a 5400, and I wanted the 7200, so I had to get a, a 100 gig. And then I used to keep a lot of stuff on here. I don't anymore. But that's why I upgraded to the 500 gig. And now I don't need that much space, so the 128 will be plenty. So then, once you get the once you get this out, it's just got these little indentions that kind of hold the drive. So you can kind of just falls right out. So you go to put this one back in. And just put it back in like the other one came out. Let's see, the other one came out like that. The screw holes go down to there. And on this one, you could ghost over um, your old drive if you wanted to. I want to go ahead and reload it, get rid of some of the junk that I've got on here. So um, I will be uh, starting over on it, loading it from scratch. It's kind of a tight fit. This Toshiba drive is just a little bit thicker, but it fits. Then we just put our screws back in.
still have the original battery on this thing too. It still holds up. This is the extended battery. I bet the always kept the extended battery in it. The smaller battery probably doesn't hold up just because I never use it. It's probably dead and but it's been a great laptop. You can see it's got a little crack there. Other than that, it's fine. Uh, the screen is still the hinges are still tight and everything on it. Some wear on the keyboard. So, let's uh, power it up. We want to. Okay. Let's go into. It's complaining about no bootable device. Let's go in here. Like I said, Core 2 Duo 2.33. That was the fastest they offered in this laptop at the time. 4 gig of RAM. But it's, uh, it won't let you use all the RAM. It's like 3.3 I think it shows up as 3.5, and that's with 64-bit OS. It's like a limitation of the, uh, I don't know if it's a BIOS or what. Battery is performing normally. Also, on this one, I got the, uh, oh, let's see doesn't show you. This one has the uh, NVIDIA graphics card in it. I actually had a problem with these overheating. Mine never, never had that problem with mine. But it was the NVIDIA equipped ones. All right, so pretty simple on this one. Um, if you ever want to do a memory upgrade on it, there's one stick of RAM that's under there. Take that one little screw out. And then there's one that's under the keyboard. Um, got to pop this uh, little bezel thing off, and there's I think three or four screws that hold the keyboard in, and it picks up at the top, slides out, and there's a stick of RAM underneath it. So, and like I said, four gig is the max on this one. Anyway, thanks for watching.